Hey everybody, this is Aaron Kasnitz, your Baltimore Ravens beat reporter at PennLive.com and the Harrisburg Patriot News. Now today we're going to talk a little bit about the Baltimore Ravens right guard competition, the competition that, that should take place there for that starting spot. And the reason we're doing it now is because the Ravens added some players in the draft who could go in there and, and, and you know jockey for a starting job. And they also signed a guy, DJ Fluker, last week who, you know, is another guy who, who they can add to the mix. So, uh, obviously, the right guard job in Baltimore is not any normal starting position. That's eight-time Pro Bowler Marshall Yonda. He was there for years. Uh, these past two years, he, he, you know, made the Pro Bowl each year. was second-team All-Pro each year. He decided to retire at age 35. Um, just in March, and that left a pretty big hole for the Ravens. He, he's the one uh, returning starter. He's the one starter who will not return uh, on offense for the Ravens this year. But beyond that, and Ravens coaches, uh, Coach John Harbaugh and, and the front office have pointed this out, they've said that Marshall Yanda, his loss isn't just about one position playing well. It's about uh, a veteran, smart really talented player who made everyone else in the offensive line better. So it's very important for the Ravens to address the interior of their offensive line. They tried to do it in the draft. Uh, they selected in the third round, at the end of the third round, Tyree Phillips, a big, massive guy out of uh, Mississippi State. Uh, Phillips only started one year in college, and he played at left tackle. So for him, it might be a little tough to transition to guard uh, right away, but the Ravens do think he's best suited as a guard in the NFL. And he's got the talent. He's got a lot of physical talent. Uh, he's very raw. He only played one year of high school football, one full year of high school football. He went to junior college, only started one year at Mississippi State. And he didn't even play guard, but very talented. And then in the fourth round, the Ravens drafted a guy who was kind of the opposite, Ben Bredesen out of Michigan. Bredesen is your classic football guy. He's from Wisconsin. Uh, he, he was a two-time team captain at Michigan uh, where he played for Jim Harbaugh, uh, obviously the brother of Ravens coach John Harbaugh. So those are the two rookies who, you know, hope to compete right away. You got the guy who played guard in college, was a team captain. You got this uber-talented uh, guy from Mich Mississippi State who has just got to figure it out uh, playing guard at the NFL level. You also got Ben Powers, who was essentially Marshall Yanda's backup last year. He only suited up for one game, uh, but he took reps in practice behind Marshall Yanda. And Powers was a fourth-round pick last year so you got three young guys unproven players who are all in the mix there to start at right guard uh the ravens could also you know shuffle some things around right now patrick mccarry is their center if matt scura comes back from from a torn acl he tore three ligaments acting his knee if he comes back healthy maybe scura returns as the starting center and mccarry uh, who did have playing experience last year enters the mix at right guard Maybe left guard Bradley Bozeman. Maybe his job is in jeopardy. Maybe you, you you mix some of these guys around. But for the most part, the Ravens have those three young guys, right? Bredesen, Phillips, and Powers, who was on the roster last year, vying for the right guard spot. And then they signed DJ Fluker, a former first-round pick, uh, an eight-year NFL veteran, a guy who started 14 games, 16 if you include the playoffs, for the Seahawks last year. And he's, he started his career as a tackle, but he's been a guard for the last five or six years. So you have that veteran insurance. Essentially, you get all these young guys, and I think the Ravens would love it if one of those young guys steps up and proves to be a long-term solution at the position. But considering that, that we don't know what the offseason program is going to look like this year, now they have DJ Fluker there uh, as a potential safety blanket, security net, uh, in case the young guys do not play well. And, and maybe Fluker shows he's got a lot left, and, and he's the guy the Ravens want to start at right guard. Uh, but it's a big, wide competition. There's at least four, maybe five, six names we can toss in here already uh, who, who are going to be competing. And it's an important competition because the Ravens know how much uh, Marshall Yonda impacted the team last year.